Smoking pot, it's supposed to be when you're in your late teens, your early 20s. That's what it's for. Stop doing it if you're older than that. It's an enough already. Enough. It's for teens and young adults. That's when it's the most fun. You don't need to be doing it for your entire life. Your mind will melt. Just, just try try a little time without it. Just space it out a little bit. There's something weird about being in your 30s and it's like everything's about weed. <laughs> something odd about that. Grow up. You know, drink wine, take pills, get drunk, OD in your bed, die, do something adult, like get a drinking problem and lose your kids. That's what adults do. They don't fucking smoke pot and talk about how disappointing the new Star Wars was. <laughs> lose your firm, snort your house, destroy yourself with pharmaceuticals. I smoke to go to sleep. We'll deal with your demons. Make peace with the monster under the bed. Defeat him. Be him. But that, I, I've had enough with the weed. Living in LA, every store's a weed store. That's the only thing left in this economy is the TikTok and weed. Nobody can live anymore unless they're shoving an edible down their throat. How did we all sleep before weed? There's something classy about a nice corporate pill. Slides right down, little Fiji, little Fiji water. You slide that sexy pill down your throat and you just light up a little ciggy leggy and you have fun. I'm joking now, but I'm also serious in a way. Like I, I don't like the, 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 the weed culture is not for me. People that sell weed are stupid. When you, when they're, when they're out and they start talking about their weed company, you want to throw yourself in front of a car because, or you want to throw them in front of a car. They're, they're uninteresting people. They just start talking about my friend, Michael talking about weed all the time, you know, and he tries to make it sound like he's, you know, building a, a super computer. It's like, well, you shut the fuck up. Yeah. People, you have weed and people smoke it. I get the fundamentals of the business. It'd be interesting if you're working with the cartel and fucking chopping people's heads off. But it's not fucking interesting when you fucking tell me you're having a problem with your graphic designer. You gave a bunch of degenerates office buildings. Now they're all fucking like, it's so hard. Yeah, it's easy to sit in Wendy's and sell dime bags to me and my dirtbag friends. Sorry, it's a little more difficult now that the guy, he's like, everybody, it's the government's involved and regulate. Hee-haw. It's what it is. You have a business now. You're not just selling eighths from your mom's Camry. I'm not saying you should do Oxycontin. I'm saying, and you can't even argue me on this, it is more adult to be addicted to Percocet than it is to be high all the time. I just respect a corporate addiction. Now, we are sponsored by a lot of weed companies. and that Now, this is awkward because I do, I do want to say that everything I just said was a bit and a joke, and I don't mean any of it. And that I think weed is great. It's natural. It's fun. It's sexy and great. And I want everyone to do it every minute of every day. I've been addicted to marijuana, alcohol, Percocet, cocaine, Vicodin, but really led me to Percocet. I've been addicted to all of those things. And you can kick them. You can be done with them. And I'm not, I'm not saying that they're all the same, but weed is annoying. It's like an annoying addiction. Die. 